Welcome back everyone, this is Usapang Kahit Ano and today we are going to talk about the uses of question marks. This is still a part of my video lecture series on copy reading tips. Let's begin. Alright, use question marks in basic interrogative sentences. Okay, if the, question, if the sentence is a question, then use a question mark obviously. So, you can see it here. How are you? So there, the question mark is used. Where do you live? So these are basic question statements. Next, use question marks in statements that are turned into questions. For example, you passed the test, right? Okay, so there is a question mark there. Next, Use question marks in tag questions. They are coming, aren't they? So this is your tag question and the question mark is there. Notice that the comma is used to set off the tag question. For the uses of commas, kindly look for a video about that topic in this channel. Okay, next. Use question marks in confirmations. For example, call me up once you've arrived, okay? So this one is a confirmatory statement. So you have to punctuate it with a question mark. Okay, next, use question marks to punctuate a series of questions that share a single beginning. For example, what did the protagonist feel? So there's a question mark here. And you notice that this one is punctuated by a question mark and also this one because they have a these two words okay these two words have the same beginning and that is what did the protagonist so what did the protagonist see what did the protagonist think okay next use question marks to indicate uncertainty about a fact okay, meaning you're not sure about you know uh, whether the fact you have written is true or not okay does that make any sense whether the fact you presented is true or not okay maybe okay next so so here we have our literature teacher claimed that pedro bucanic was a blind ilocano poet notice that the question mark is enclosed in parentheses because you're not sure whether pedro bucanic is ilocano okay or maybe an ibanag or an itawit or itawis right Okay, so you place a question mark there to indicate an uncertainty about that fact. Okay, next. Question marks are placed inside quotation marks if they are part of the material being quoted. Let's look at this example. What food would you like to be served? She asked. Okay, so notice that the question mark is placed inside the quotation marks because it is part of the statement okay and you notice that there is no comma here right because the the question mark serves as the end punctuation next question marks are placed outside this time they are played outside quotation marks if they are not okay part of the they not are <laughs> you have to transpose this one if they are not part of the material being quoted for example did you understand what i meant by the phone is ringing okay you have the quoted statement here phone is ringing but it is not part of the quoted state the question mark is not part of the quoted statement that's the reason why that's the reason why it's placed outside the double quotation marks for a discussion on double um, quotation marks you may find a video in a video related to that in this channel okay next okay let's have another one uh the same this is the same sentence okay if the statement inside the parenthesis is a sentence, then the question mark is placed inside. What do I mean by that? Let's look at this example. He went inside the house with dirty shoes. Okay? And you notice that there is a side comment placed inside parenthesis. 
couldn't he have just taken them off first? And it is a complete sentence. Therefore, the question mark is placed inside. And of course, there's another punctuation there to punctuate the entire sentence. Okay, next. However, if the statement is inside, if the statement inside the parenthesis is not a sentence, the question mark is placed outside. What do I mean by that? Example, why did you include that data in your presentation? Maybe a bit redundant. Okay, so maybe a bit redundant here is a side comment place inside parenthesis, but it is not a complete sentence. So, the question mark is placed outside to punctuate the entire sentence. And notice that this is the end punctuation and we did not use period here anymore. Okay? So, these are the uses of question marks. And if I failed to point out, give, enumerate, other uses of the question mark, feel free to write them down in the comment section. Thank you so much. And again, this is Usapang Kahitano. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button.